Welcome friends, James Corbett here, CorbettReport.com, with your thought for the day, January 13th, 2017, and it's a phenomenon that does not need a great deal of elaboration for my regular listeners, but yes, the social media bastions that have become firmly embedded in the minds of all internet users everywhere, the Twitters and YouTubes and Facebooks, are in serious trouble. Uh, it's only the beginning, of course, but the signs are there. Uh, not only do we have uh, Twitter API data showing the number of tweets in serious decline, but we have a growing awareness of of the the ill effects of some of these social media platforms. In fact, science now confirming that, yes, quitting Facebook really does make people happier. Surprise, surprise. But not only that, we of course know about the censorship, and we've documented this before, about all of the different ways that they censor. And it's not just in the United States or in Western countries. I mean, it's everywhere in the globe. Facebook tailor hand custom making a censorship tool um, to, in order to comply with the Chinese government's demands. And in fact, just 22 hours ago, as of the creation of this video, uh, it's it's been uh, discovered that Facebook is now censoring posts in Thailand that the government has deemed unsuitable. So the censorship continues, and uh, it's becoming more and more obvious. And I think everyone has seen over the past year some example of this or other. Uh, and uh, and it's it's getting to the point where more and more people are looking for alternatives, and as a result, more and more alternatives are popping up. I've talked about some of them on the uh, on the Corbett Report before. For example, uh, you might remember several months ago I talked about Steemit, a blockchain-based uh, social media site that allows people to post fairly substantial posts, um, not just 140 characters, and there's a uh, lively comment uh, discussion that goes on, as well as... Um, uh, upvotes that uh, that involve a, a cryptocurrency. It's quite an intricate ecosystem that goes on here. Um, so I hope people will check that out, steamit.com. I'm also on minds.com slash Corbett Report. And I don't, I haven't yet gotten into the habit of posting every single thing I do here, but I should and I will. So you can check me out there. The link to my uh, minds.com page will be here. Again, uh, you can post videos, you can post audio, you can post links to things, you can post extensive posts, you can expo uh, post very simple posts. So um, a very flexible tool. And there's some, int again, intricacies with uh, a, a sort of ecosystem here by which you can earn points and then spend them in order to get more views for your, your posts. It's, uh, it's an interesting system. So again, I'm still learning the intricacies of that. But I think the biggie in a lot of people's minds is, of course, GooTube. And people might remember the uh, YouTube Heroes uh, idea that came up a, a little while ago where they're going to let certain super users mass flag videos for moderation, which I think we all know what that really means. And I mean, everyone knows what that means because this video now has over three and a half million views, about almost 30,000 likes, almost a million dislikes. I think people understand what this means and where this is going. And there's been a lot of uh, brouhaha going on recently about the ways that YouTube is... Um, essentially killing off some of the popular channels by uh, their their new algorithms. So uh, it's not just people with politically sensitive material. It's pretty much everyone that's looking for ways off of these highly centralized, highly controlled, highly censorship-prone platforms. And on that note, again, what can you do about YouTube? I mean, I've seen video sharing uh, sites come and go over the years. I've, I've talked about some of them before years and years ago on the Corbett Report, but the nature of video sharing is such that if you do get popular, you will basically be spending incredible amounts of money on uh, serving all of that data because uh, if you're set up like YouTube with centralized servers that far farm out the videos to everyone, um, you're either going to be too small uh, and no one, and you're not going to be able to make any money off of it, or you're going to get too big and you're not going to be able to afford all the servers. So there's a solution. Uh, Bitshoot.com. I'm going to suggest people check this out. And this is a site that's only been created in the last couple of weeks, so it's still very much under construction. But it is from Ray Vahi, who people, if you follow me on Twitter, you might know Ray Vahi, because I often retweet some of the stuff that he's doing. He tweets a lot of good stories for New World Next Week. And and just generally. So um, he has recently taken it upon himself to create a kind of YouTube-like site. And you'll notice the Corbett Report and some of my friends are featured quite uh, prominently here on the front page. And um, I suggest people go and at least check it out, at least take a look at it. Uh, as I say, it's still under construction and there are different features that are being done right now. But if you click onto a video, you will see that immediately you start getting and sending 
the data because this is not a centralized server system. This is actually based on torrent technology. Uh, the bit in BitChute is for uh, what people might recognize BitTorrent. Well, this is a web torrent uh, based uh, service. And I don't want to get too much into the weeds of what that actually means. I'm going to be writing about this more in this weekend's International Forecaster so you can check it out there. But I do suggest you click on the FAQ and just take a look through and uh, and find out a little bit more about what this is and what it does. But the, the long story short, this is not a, uh, a website that's being designed with a central server in mind that, that uh, where all of the information is collected and, and stored and then can be censored from a sense central place. This is based on web torrent technology. So it is torrenting, but it is directly in your browser. So you don't need to download anything. You don't need to set up anything. You don't need to install anything you are torrenting from within your browser. And what that means is, although they haven't set up the the uh, the, the sort of upload, quote-unquote, um, service yet, but when they do, eventually you will be able to put your videos up here and they will torrent, uh, they will be torrents that people can uh, then torrent and browse and while they're watching them, they're seeding them to others. So it's a, a very ingenious way of combating the problem of scalability that a lot of these uh, alternative sites have. Because again, as I say, if you're trying to compete with YouTube, you can't do it. If you if you get to big enough, you're going to have to spend a bajillions of dollars on all of the servers. Well, here you don't need that because it is torrenting. So everyone is contributing to the bandwidth. And that's an, it's an incredibly simple and elegant idea. And it's uh, here's the proof of concept anyway in, in this website and the different uh, videos that you can already see here. So again, I suggest you check it out and I suggest you keep coming back in the coming weeks and months. They're working on a lot of uh, different upgrades and features. So it's, uh, it's a very exciting little idea. And the best part about this is there are more and more ideas like this that are coming up now as people start to not only demand, but actually supply the alternatives to the existing social media paradigm. So I'm very excited about this, and it will be nice to finally get the Goop Tube embed off of the front page and get people off of weaned off of YouTube. And I'm glad YouTube is providing me the space to <laughs> make the argument for its death. <laughs> and uh, on that note, we're going to continue working towards that. As I say, I'm going to be writing more about these uh, ideas like BitChute and ideas like that more in this weekend's for international forecaster editorial so stay tuned for that this is james corbett of corbettreport.com asking you to join me again very soon